530, keeping communities clear of eyesores. Tonight, we have details on a brand new program to help neighborhoods eliminate blight. The story's all new at 530. The program is called the Hardest Hit Fund. It's a big pot of money to help investors and neighborhood organizations demolish unsafe and unstable houses. But as Jack Reinhardt reports now from the east side, the fund has a big string attached. The city has targeted neighborhood blight, and it's willing to give investors and neighborhood groups upwards of $8 million to demolish properties, with the caveat that you build something in its place. In one east side neighborhood, a home that has far surpassed the label of an eyesore, and the sign out front reads, if this home was in Carmel, it would have been demolished. It's been empty for a long time, and they were supposed to tear it down. I wish they'd hurry up. So it'll make the neighborhood look better. The east side is full of homes that need demolition, but they're stuck on the tax rolls or in foreclosure, or the owners have long since passed away. And while federal programs have established foreclosure prevention programs, the state has made available a fund to help neighborhoods eliminate blight through demolition. But the city isn't interested in vacant lots or neighborhood parks. It wants new construction. Frankly, our tax base, it, uh property that's got new construction on it generates a higher level of tax income for the city than a green space does, than a side lot does. In the Near East Side, St. Clair Place neighborhood, the Community Development Corporation has renovated and built 58 homes, many of them on vacant lots. And while money to demolish blighted property sounds good, it also sounds expensive. Even if our intention to develop it is two or three or four or five years down the road, uh, there's still a holding cost on that. Well, if you take that, you know, if you you know, take that 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 times, uh, you're looking at about, you know, 800 to a thousand dollars a year just to hold that. You know, and most CDCs uh, aren't looking, aren't, aren't working with those kinds of funds. Called the hardest hit fund, the demolition money holds great promise for bringing back blighted neighborhoods, but only if the investors have the vision of what it will put back in its place. On the east side, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. The Department of Metropolitan Development is hosting two public meetings next week on how investors and neighborhoods can access the demolitions. To find out when and where, we actually have a link on our website, theindychannel.com.